Mm, have you been wondering whether you should use react.js or next.js for your application anyway welcome to the don't have channel today we'll be diving into the latest web development by exploring two powerful tools in javascript ecosystem which is next.js and then react.js whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out understanding these technologies can give you a major edge so let's jump into it So first up, we are going to talk about React.js, which is or which was developed by Facebook. React.js is basically or it's a JavaScript library for building user interface. Okay, it uses components-based architecture, allowing you to build encapsulated components that manage their own state, and then compose or merge them to form a complex UI. React.js focuses on creating reusable components, making your code more manageable and scalable. It allows you to create interactive UIs efficiently by updating and rendering only the necessary components of your data or the necessary components when your data changes. Okay, so the whole idea about React.js is it's a library, okay, and it uses components based architecture, which means you can build different different components and then make them to com to form complex UIs. And these components they manage their own state. So when there is a change, you can only change the components or the things in the component you don't need to refresh or reload the whole page okay and you only change or refresh the component when your data changes and because it's a component based it's reusable because you can use the same components at different different places in your application all right now let's also talk about next.js okay next.js is a framework built on top of react by vessel so Next.js enhances React.js capabilities by providing server-side rendering, for which I will talk about in a different video. It also provides static site generation and other powerful features out of the box. Next.js simplifies setups and offers features like file-based routing, APIs routes, and built-in CSS support. Okay? It is designed to improve performance and SEO and making it excellent choice for building production ready applications okay so let's look at some key differences between them all right so for now we know that react.js is a javascript library okay and then next.js is a framework that is built on top of that so there should be some differences all right for which we are going to look at next in terms of rendering by default react.js provide client-side rendering okay meaning rendering happens in the browser okay and then next.js supports both client server client side and then server side rendering which means it's you can choose whether the rendering should happen in the browser or at the server side okay and this improves initial loading time and then also the seo in terms of routing i would say react.js um, routing is managed by libraries like react router okay where you define your routes manually but with next.js it uses file based routing system meaning your structure or the structure of your file or your pages in your directory automatically maps your routing and this makes it super intuitive and easy to manage in terms of performance i would say next.js have upper hand with features like automatic site optimization and also incremental static regeneration ensuring that your app is fast and also efficiently even as it grows okay so when should you use react.js and when should you use next.js use react.js if you are building a single page application okay or even if you want more control over your building process and routing as i said earlier on for instance with the routing it uses react router okay where you define it manually so that one it gives you more control over your building process and also it's greater for building reusable ui components across different projects okay choose next.js if you are looking to build a highly performant seo friendly website or web application it's perfect for e-commerce sites blogs and any other application or any other project where speed and seo are very crucial so in conclusion both react.js and next.js are powerful tools in web development React gives you more flexibility to 
to build dynamic user interface. Files Next.js provides robust frameworks for building optimized and scalable web applications. I hope this comparison helps you decide which tool is right for your next project. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, stay updated for our latest videos. Drop your comments and experience with Next.js and React.js in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.